up YouTube, this is your favorite sailor and I'm back with another video on what you need to bring for deployment. So go ahead, get your pens, get your papers because there's a whole list, honey, that I'm about to give out to you. So stay tuned for the video. y'all so let's get right into this video you're gonna see me look down a lot and that's because i'm looking at a list because y'all i really put together a full list like i couldn't remember all of this stuff so yeah if you see me looking down that's what i'm looking at first i'm gonna start off with a shower bag you need a shower bag to take to the shower with you like you don't want to go in the shower with your toothbrush in this hand your uh soap in this hand your towel on your back like it's just best to just have a shower bag and in your shower bag just keep your soap keep your body wash keep your toothbrush your toothpaste um basically anything you need when you go to the head that's what you would have so it's just so convenient to just have a bag with all that stuff in it vice you carrying it everything in your hands so you definitely need a shower bag. And since we're talking about shower, you need shower shoes. Do not get in that shower barefooted. I don't even think they allow you to get in the shower barefooted, honestly. You probably would get cursed out if you're walking to that shower with your barefoot. Like, that's disgusting. Put some shower shoes on, okay? Buy some. Next, you would need a good supply. I would say probably a month's supply of underwear bras and socks and i say this because laundry gets backed up quite often it's actually a hassle to do laundry so if you can get the them extra weeks in or whatever with your extra uh bras underwears and socks then that'll be great i'm telling you i'm telling you you probably like a month supply like yes get some extra underwears all right Next, I would say you would need a lock. Well, it's not even, you need a lock because your rack has to be locked at all times. You cannot leave your rack unlocked. So if you wanna get a lock combination where you have a code or if you wanna get one with just the key, either or is fine. You just need a lock to lock your rack. Next, I would say an extra sea bag. So I would bring a sea bag to put the little amount of civilian clothes I do bring because you don't want to overpack civilian clothes. When you get to these ports, you're going to buy clothes. So you don't need to pack all those civilian clothes. So I would say just a sea bag for uh, your civilian clothes, somewhere to store your extra uh, bras and panties and socks that you uh, you guys brought. Just this extra sea bag would be nice. So if you have a, most of the time you will have a sea bag locker to put it in. If you don't, I'm sorry, that kind of sucks. But we had a sea bag locker where we kept our sea bags in. So I just put all my extra items in there that I didn't use on a regular basis. Next would be a hanger. You would need a hanger to hang your uniform and you need a hanger to hang your towel. I will also bring extra towels if I were you guys too because the way the towels are set up, it's kind of like hung outside your rack. So your uniform and your towel and somebody can just easily come by, walk by and knock your towel off your hanger. And so I wouldn't want to shower with that towel that night if somebody had just knock my towel over so it's always nice to have extra towels so you definitely need a hanger i would say about six would be fine and also people steal hangers y'all <laughs> and hangers break so i would say six hangers will be fine next i would say bring a book if you like to read Bring a book. It's something that gets your mind off work. It's something to do when you're in your rack to pass time by. If you're waiting for child or whatever, just bring a book. Uh, you can also bring your laptop and a hard drive. So your laptop will be for movie purposes. Uh, it gets pretty boring on a boat, I'm telling you. So anything that can occupy your time, you will want to bring it. So a laptop would be perfect for those who like to watch movies in their rack, listen to music on your laptop. You just need a laptop. Well, that's more so a want and not a need, but it'll definitely help time go by. I will also bring a journal. And what I did was, well, I didn't do it the whole deployment, but I wish I would have. I would write down how that day went. 
So anything that went down, uh, went wrong that day or went great that day, I would write it down in a journal. And that way at the end of deployment, you can look back on it. I don't know. It's not something that you need to do, but it, I just think that's pretty cool. So I would bring a journal if I was you to vent to yourself. Uh, next, you would need snacks. I'm telling you, you need snacks. And the snacks that I would recommend are like noodles, uh, tuna snacks, easy mac and cheese, like the five minute rices, one minute rices. You would need stuff like that because chow lines are long. Sometimes chow is disgusting. And y'all, I lost hella weight on deployment. And that's because I didn't eat. Like, <laughs> The food was disgusting. I didn't want to wait an hour in line for chow. So if you could get like the tuna crackers or whatever, then that'll be perfect. Yes, you have a ship store, but sometimes the ship store runs out of food really fast. So if you have your own supply, you'll thank me like thank me later. Next, I would say is water bottle. Water bottle, water bottle, water bottle. You would need a water bottle. A water bottle is a necessity on deployment because without it you won't have anything to drink out of when it's not chai hours the cups are not out so you need a water bottle something that's closed i wouldn't prefer a glass water bottle because the ship shakes things break plastic water bottle will be fine also you need slippers so you have your shower shoes for the shower but you also need slippers to walk around in the birthing in so you don't want to walk around in your shower shoes and you don't want to walk around in your work boots. So if you could bring a pair of slippers, that would be great. Next, I would say your own sheets, pillows, bedspread. I don't know. I heard some stories where some people were allowed to use their own bedspreads or your own sheets, but we were. And I was grateful because the wooden, woven, whatever blankets they give you are very hard. They tend to have this smell. I don't know. I just like to, I'm a girly type of person. So if I can dress my rack up, then I, that's what I'm going to do. So bring your own uh, pillows, your sheets, and your bedspread. I also put pictures in my rack. Some people allow it, some boats don't because it counts as gear drift. But if you want pictures that hang in your rack, like to show memories or whatever, like if you have kids, you paint their pictures in your rack. That'll be a little taste of home so they ease your mind a little bit. Remind you what you're doing it for. So I would bring pictures. You can also put those pictures in your lockers as well. So yeah, bring pictures. Oh yes, so speak, we spoke on laundry, but you need to know that you cannot use pods on a boat. You cannot use the Tide Pods, you know, the little plastic things where you just, yeah, pods, you can't use them. So I would recommend liquid detergent or powder detergent, but you cannot bring pods and use them on the boat. They say they clog up the pipes. Don't know how true it is. They say the plastic part really don't melt and so it get clogged in the pipes. So if they see you using it, they will stop you. They will tell you not to use them. But um, also with the pods, when uh, we had them on deployment, like I said, you couldn't use them, but what we did was we had pods, but we poked the hole in them so the stuff can come out. The detergent came out, but and we threw the plastic part away. But that's just such a hassle. Like, just buy detergent, regular detergent. If you're one of those people that gets cold really easy, I would say bring a little coat to sleep in. Not nothing heavy, but something that you can sleep in because with the temperature and the burden, it pretty much stays the same, and it's pretty much cold. So... <laughs> Ain't no change in the temperature when you feel hot or when you feel cold. You got to think you're living up to like a hundred people. So everybody has this different way of what they want the temperature to be. So pretty much the temperature stays at one set temperature. So if you're one of those people that gets cold, bring a jacket. Just save that hassle. Next. I know I talked about the rat and your own pillows and bed spreads, but also bring like a bed phone. You could get them at Walmart. It's basically like the little phone that you put on top of your mattress so that uh, it can give a little cushion because the uh, mattresses are really hard. They're not that comfortable. So if you could bring a phone thing, that'll be perfect. Like it'll be comfortable. I would also recommend creating a Facebook and an Amazon account. And I say this because Facebook is going to be your communication 
between your family, like your main communication. So if you could create a Facebook, then you can keep in touch with your family. You can get a touch of the outside world. So have a Facebook page and also an Amazon account. Amazon is important because that's pretty much how you're going to get your supplies. Whatever you order, I mean, I'm not talking about supplies from the shoe. I'm talking about what you want, like your personal, what you want. So if you want extra soap, Amazon. You want snacks, Amazon. You want a coat, Amazon. Anything that you need is going to come from Amazon. And it comes pretty fast. It comes faster than if somebody ship it to you, actually. So get an Amazon account. Next, I would say Germex and Lysol wipes. Y'all, <laughs> the ship is dirty, okay? People are dirty. So you need that Germex and you need them Lysol wipes because living with 100 people, when one gets sick, it spreads like wildfire. Is that a slang, whatever? Yeah, I think people say that. It spreads, not at least. Like it fucking spreads. Oh, sorry. It <laughs> it spreads. So if you can get some Lysol and Germex to keep a little germ, all the other stuff away from you, do that. Next, I would say, uh, when you go on Liberty, like when you hit these ports, you can't wear flip flops. So do not bring flip flops. Yeah, you can wear them out in town once you get off the boat, but you are not allowed to leave the boat in flip flops. So, bring tennis shoes or sandals to get off the boat in. Bring an extra charger, an extra phone charger. People steal all the time and you need your phone for your alarm clock. So, please bring an extra phone charger just for precaution because things come up missing in the burden. And speaking of phones, I recommend that you go to your provider and tell them to put your phone on deployment status. That way you are not paying full price for your phone. They know you're on deployment and yeah, you won't be able to make calls, but you won't be able to do that anyway. Like for the most part, you're going to use Wi-Fi when you're in ports and that's how you're going to call. So get your phone put on deployment status, save some of that money. And yeah, next thing I would recommend is headphones so i spoke a lot on about the laptop to watch movies in so you also need the headphones so you can have the headphones to listen to uh, music on your phone headphones for your laptop when you watch the movies you need headphones also if you're one of those people that want to work out at the gym bring workout clothes and also you need your headphones for that if you like listening to music next i would say is tupperware you need tupperware so for those snacks that I spoke about earlier, your instant noodles and all of that, Tupperware will be perfect for that. You can use your own Tupperware and eat in the cafeteria with it. Sometimes you're not allowed to take food from the mess set. Sometimes you are. It all depends on what ship you are on, how your burden is, whatever. But Tupperware will, will be a lifesaver. So I recommend you get Tupperware. You will also need a laundry bag. And... Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. You need somewhere to put your dirty clothes. Get a laundry bag. I will also say bring toilet paper. And I know y'all probably like, why would I bring toilet paper when toilet paper on a boat? Yeah, it's on, it's on there for the first two months of deployment. But y'all, I can't stress how many times we ran out of toilet paper. <laughs> because I guarantee you, mark my words, you're going to run out of toilet paper on that boat. Whether it's because the ship don't have toilet paper or it's because your birther PO, supply PO person did not go get toilet paper when it ran out in your birther. <laughs> you <laughs> you going to be looking real crazy on that toilet and you can't wipe your behind. So I'm telling you, bring toilet paper. And I'm not saying when you bring the toilet paper, tell everybody you got toilet paper in your rack. No, bring that toilet paper, keep it in your rack. And once the ship is out, you just go into your rack and get the toilet paper. And speaking of toilet paper, check before you go to the bathroom and pull your pants down. Check to make sure you have toilet paper in your stall because eight times out of 10, you won't. So yeah. Next, I would say, yeah. That's pretty much my list. <laughs> I thought it was more, but 
No, it's not. But I will recommend uh, getting some CS friends, getting an IT friend, getting an LS friend. And <laughs> once you get on the ship, you will understand why I said that. I don't want to ruin all the experience for you. I need y'all to, you know. But yeah, that concludes my list of what to bring. It seemed like it was more when I was writing it, but I guess not because I'm done with the list. So yeah, I hope y'all first deployment is a good deployment. Like the video, comment your experience on deployment if you have already been. If I have left anything out that you felt like you needed and that you didn't have, then please comment that down below. Subscribe to my channel and yeah, we are out. Bye.